Hey everybody, this is Callan, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about how I make money playing a game called Prospectors online, basically in a browser, and I can play that game from any computer or from my phone, just basically just need an internet connection. So basically the idea is that in the game I'm earning a cryptocurrency called Peggle, or PGL, which can be converted into another cryptocurrency called EOS which then can be converted into Bitcoin, which I can use to buy pretty much anything I want. So uh, let's just uh, kind of jump into the game and show you what it looks like. So here is the basic view of the game. This is a plot or a piece of property, and this is a piece of property that I currently own. And you can see at the top here, there's a gold mine, and I just opened it, and it's actually in progress of being built. And I've gone through multiple stages where I had to buy clay bricks and stone and then I had to do a working phase where I had a bunch of people working then I had to buy wood and wood girders and then I did another working phase and now I'm on the last stage and so I just need people to come and finish this. Now I could finish it myself with my three workers or I could do it much faster by hiring people to do that. And so currently I'm going to pay eight gold a minute and it's going to take 15,000 minutes. So. To finish this so I'm gonna be paying 120,000 gold to anyone who wants to come and help me finish it and because I'm paying pretty well people are gonna come so here is all of the existing jobs at the moment you can see at the top here this guy's paying 30 gold a minute um, but then it drops pretty quickly down to 8.5 ish and then you'll see I think we'll probably see here's mine right here listed here towards the top so working for other people is one of the best ways to make money when you first start the game, especially if you don't have any land of, of your own. And so you just go into this menu. You can see on the left here, you can sort by what tools you have. So in order to do basically almost all jobs except, except transporting, you're going to need a certain set of tools. So I just selected shovel and a pickaxe. If I happen to have a shovel and pickaxe, I can come here and see what jobs are available to me. You can see there's quite a few jobs and actually most of them already have people working them. You can see the perform button is uh, grayed out until I get all the way down here because all the best jobs are already taken. So if you want to start making money right away with all three of your workers, you can just get some tools and then go work for somebody. Now I just want to give you kind of a rundown of the basic plot itself. On the left here you can see there. this is my storage area. If I click that, this is everything that I have in storage and currently I don't have a whole lot. And then I can actually click on each of my workers and it will show me uh, what they have in their inventory and they also don't have a whole lot at the moment either because I'm pretty much geared up to just be mining gold. And then we can look at each of my guys by clicking on them on the right and you can see up in the upper left here he has a pickaxe and a gold pan equipped as his tools which means that he's ready to mine gold. Now I only have one person mining gold right now. You can see this guy has a timer and that's because, oops, that's because before I have a completed gold mine only one person can mine gold here. But once I have the finished gold mine all three of my workers can mine at the same time and I can even hire other people to come and mine for me. Now in the middle of the screen you can see the info thing and I basically just click this and it tells me about my plot and I can, um, I have another month of rent basically already paid. I can continue to rent if I want to pay that amount which is fairly expensive. 200,000 is very expensive rent at the moment. Uh, when I first got this it was only 50,000 but how many people are renting plots around me increases the how much it costs me. I can also go to auction and sell this property, but I'm not going to do that because it's pretty much the best property in the game, uh, the best type of property, you know, 32 million gold, which is the maximum amount you can have. Um, you can see at the bottom here, that's the gold vein. It tells you exactly how much I have. And then here is the job board, and you can see I have listed that job, and up to 15 people can work it at once. And up here at the tent, just showing who's here. So you can see my three workers at the top, and then there are a couple of workers who are just hanging out from working here earlier. And then uh, I think one or two people who are actually on their way over here now that I've listed that job. So now I'm going to show you the map. And uh, you can see this is where my plot is. 
and I used to own a couple of plots around here but I sold those for quite a bit of money and you can see there's a couple other gold mines near me there's a, a tool factory right next to me there's a wood shop and it's nice to have things right next to me because it does take time to transport anything that I buy. As you can see it's very busy in the center of the map but as you get off towards the edges things kind of die off because uh, because of the travel time there's just less activity out there. So let's talk a little bit about how I actually make money here. As you can see I have a gold mine plot and um, I'm just focusing on mining gold directly so I don't really have to think too much about the economy of buying mining and buying clay um, ore, coal and all those different things. And um, so just as I mine it I go here, I click withdraw, I have 260,000 gold at the moment and I'm going to convert 200,000 of it to 200 Peggle. And Peggle is the, or PGL, is the actual cryptocurrency which is worth real money. So I've now done that and you can see on the left here it tells me I have 200 Peggle which I'm just going to go convert to EOS now. So now I have switched to an app called Nudex, which is just on my Android phone, and I'm looking at the market, which these are all the different currencies that exist within the EOS ecosystem. And you can see Peggles right here. So this is the exchange for Peggle to EOS, and also kind of tells you how much each Peggle is in terms of dollars. So at the top here you can see each one is 15 cents, and I'm going to be selling 200 of them. So. Um, let's see, I'll just go over here, there's someone who's selling, who wants to buy 550 for this price, and I'll sell all of them, and I'll just click sell Peggle, and I understand. So I believe that's gone through, so I'm just going to go to order history and make sure that it did. And you can see at the top here I sold 200, and I got a total of 5.70. So let's go see what that is on a different app called Binance. So this is the Binance app, which is basically a, an application which lets you trade all kinds of cryptocurrencies. Here is just my favorite uh, crypto cryptos that I'm following, and let's go into the EOS. And you can see EOS is selling for 4.22, so if you multiply that by 5.7 EOS, which I just got for converting 200 e um, of the Pego Gold to EOS, that's about $25. So I just sold, got rid of what was 200,000 gold in the game and uh, made $25. So basically that piece of property that I have, which has 32 million gold on it, which will convert to 32,000 Peggle, uh, is roughly, when I first got it, was about $8,000 worth of gold on that property. Now the prices of all cryptocurrencies change pretty drastically and that's why they're a little bit dangerous to get into. Um, so currently, my, that property is probably worth more like 4500 or something like that. But again, that could change. It can go way above what it was originally or it can continue to drop down. But in the, what is for sure is that I'm making money for basically playing a game. And so something to know if you're interested in getting into crypto gaming or playing games which will can earn you cryptocurrency is that you want to get in early because that's how you're going to get a hold of the property, the items which uh, are going to be harder for the people who come in later to get. So for example, me having this property, I was able to find it um, in one of the nicest spots towards the center of the map and uh, maximum amount of gold on it and at the cheapest rent price because I started the game on the very, very first day. Now if, you're, if you start, you're going to have a hard time getting to that point. It's going to take you a while just to earn enough to buy a piece of property like that. And it's going to be hard for you to find one even. So even if you have the cash to pay the rent, it's going to be hard for you to find it because everyone else is going to be looking for it too. So if you're going to play these games, make sure you're paying attention to news, getting into the early phases of the game before they're actually released publicly, being part of the community, because that's how you're going to actually make money. So I use this money to pay for my dedicated web server, which I run my website, my cloud server, my email server, and a bunch of other things off of. 
but I could also use it to buy pretty much anything. Um, like anything I, I could buy on Amazon, I can convert everything to Bitcoin, then I can use something called BitPay to convert that to a Bit, uh, an Amazon gift card, which then I can buy anything I want from Amazon. And of course you can convert Bitcoin into cash, basically, in lots of different ways. So really it is getting paid to play games. Uh, and I just want to give a little bit of disclaimer that I do, while I do think this is fun, I think that where this is going long term may be a dangerous situation for humanity. So while I think it's good to get in on these things and take advantage of them while they're still uh, new, uh, I do, I, I would cautious pe caution people about cryptocurrencies long term because I think they will go through a phase where they will kind of usurp our current currencies, but then they will also fail um, for various reasons. And I can talk about that in another video if anyone's interested. So anyways, that's uh, the game Prospectors. If you're interested in playing it, you can use the link in the description below. And I get, I don't know, some sort of commission from it. I think if you make gold in the game, then I get a tiny little bit of it or something like that. Doesn't really matter. If you're interested in playing the game, and you have questions, feel free to comment or just email me at mail at calendar.org. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video or found it valuable to you, I hope you will consider it a gift from myself to you. And if you would like to return the favor, you can go to gift.calendar.org. I've got a list of things that I need at the moment. And in return, I offer a free coaching session to anyone who donates something to me. So if you want to learn more about uh, the coaching stuff, you can go to coach.calendar.org. Thanks again for watching.